Today, I want to share with you 10 entrepreneurship lessons from Proverbs 31 Woman. Hi, my name is Janet, and if you're new here, welcome to Raising a Lady. So let's dive in. Before I go into the lessons uh, that I've learned uh, as an entrepreneur from Proverbs 31, I just wanted to say this, that sometimes Proverbs 31 woman can be an, an intimidation for most women. You know, you look at the stuff that is described in this chapter and you just feel like I cannot measure up to this. And sometimes people just give up. Or maybe you're one of those people who get inspired and then you really work hard and you're working out of your own power and might to become this woman. What I want to say is that this woman who's described in uh, Proverbs 31 is a woman who is allowing Jesus Christ in her to, be, to do all this. There is no way we on our own can do this. It is only through Christ that you can even achieve half of what is mentioned in this chapter. So before we go out there and, and get, you know, feel defeated or you like, okay, I'm going to work to become this. It really has to come from a place of your relationship with God, which brings me to the issue of priorities. That before we even talk about lessons, we need to know what our roles as women, as wives uh, what are our priorities in life? What is the season that we're in? And I've been guilty of this where I have, you know, my priorities have not been right and I've pursued one thing instead of what I know God really wants me to pursue. And so I'm just going to give you kind of like a, a, a short breakdown of what our priorities should be. And I'm talking from a point of view of being a wife and a mother that and, and this also applies really to even people who are not married because the, the first one where God should be the first priority in your life, that goes for everybody. And then if you're married, it is your marriage and then your children. And then the business comes after all these three or the career, whatever it is you're pursuing in the marketplace. And then other relationships and other things in your life will come after that. So I think it's important that we mention this so that um, as entrepreneurs, um, you know where your priorities are. So you're not chasing the wrong things in your life, which are not really pleasing to God because you have your priorities all messed up. So I just wanted to uh, talk about this before I go into the lessons. Okay, so now let's go into the first lesson. This is from Proverbs 3. 1 verse 30. He says, Charm is deceptive, beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. The first lesson is that this woman puts God first. And you hear me talk about this a lot in a, in a, you know, as we're going through uh, this journey, that this is the most important thing in your life, in my life. Your fellowship, your relationship with Christ has to come first then everything else you do in life can flow from that relationship. You know, sometimes you're wondering what is our calling? What am I supposed to do? When we are in, a, in an intimate relationship with God, we get to know a lot of these things and a lot of the questions we have actually get answered. So one of the first lessons that I have learned is that you, I, we have to put God first. And that is the most relation, the most important relationship. And then, like I said, your family, your children, work all comes after having put God first. All right. The second lesson is that this woman prioritizes her family. And in Proverbs 31, verse 27 to 28, it says that she washes over the affairs of a household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, and the husband also, he praises her. Again, when you look at the priorities that I talked about before, we, I, I mentioned that you know, it is God and then it is you know, your marriage, your children. So there is a priority of putting your family first before your business, before your career. 
our ministry, our first ministry, our first calling, besides worshiping and honoring God in terms of relationship with other people in this world, is to our family. If you're married, it is to your husband first and then to your children. That is what we are called to. So we want to make sure that we are prioritizing our family before we prioritize things of, of uh, like our career and our business. And of course, even in our lives, you know that there are certain times in our, in our business and careers that things are, you know, might not look this way. But really our aim is should always be to prioritize our family and to, to, I mean, to prioritize God first and then our family and do as much as we can to make sure that the way our priorities are, are listed or are in our lives is that we, we have this figure out. The third lesson is that she's honest and trustworthy. Proverbs 31 verse 11 says that her husband has put confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. So her husband in this uh, chapter trusts this woman. He has his trust in her. And I think this is important that we are not, not only should our husband trust us, but the people around us should know that we are honest that we're trustworthy. And again, this flows from your relationship with God because God requires us to be honest and to be trustworthy. This is actually one of the characteristics. God is of God. God is honest, is trustworthy, and he wants us as his children to be honest and to be trustworthy. So we see that this is part of, you know, as you are an entrepreneur, this is something that you should be working towards in your life. Be honest, be trustworthy in your dealings with people at home, in your dealings with people at work, in your business, in your career. Be honest and trustworthy. And it, it can be very hard because in the world we live in, people lie, you know, to 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 climb up the ladder. You know, they, they backstab other people. They do all kinds of crazy, evil things so they can climb up the ladder in their career or in their business and this is not what we are called to as christians is that we should be honest and trustworthy no matter what whether we 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 don't gain whatever we think we'd want to gain because we're honest we should always be honest and trustworthy and actually really trust that god is the one who will give us the increase that god is the one who give us the promotion and not trust in men and and you know lying our way through things so we can get that promotion but our trust should be in god to give us the promotions that we want in life uh, the fourth lesson is that she's diligent and hard working proverbs 31 verse 15 says she gets up while it is still night she provides food for a family and portions for a female of servants so this woman is diligent she's hard working she's not lazy she's not again eating the you know the hands of idleness she is busy and works as hard as she can to provide for her family and even for the people that work for her so we realize that it's important to god that we are hard working um that we are not just waiting for other people to you know take care of us so that people you know like your husband or other people shouldn't take care of you but there is your own hard working that is required you being diligent in the in the gifts that god has given you in the uh, things that god has given you that he does require us to work and and to be diligent in those areas number six is that she's resourceful and creative proverbs 31 verse 16 she considers a field and buys it out of her profit, she plants a vineyard. So this woman is very resourceful and creative. And really, this is part of God's uh, characteristic. God is creative. And this is the nature that we get from God. You know, so within us, God has put, like he says in his word, the power to get well, the power to create well. Which, help, which is then 
how we can become resourceful and creative and we can look at projects look at business deals look at opportunities and be able to to consider you know such opportunities whether to do it to go forward or not or whether to you know stay out of it but this woman is resourceful and creative and it's also really based on the relationship that she has with god because in that resourcefulness and creativity you also need wisdom um which is one of the the things that comes as a child of god in in your relationship with god is that we get to have the wisdom of god so we can make good decisions and in our work and uh, whatever else we're doing in life number 6 is that she is disciplined and organized and this is proverbs 31 verse 17 to 18 which says she sets about her work vigorously her arms are strong for her tasks she sees that her trading is profitable and the lamb does not go out at night so you have to be again in this verse we see the hard working part and the diligence that she is but there also has to be discipline and organization so that you are not just working haphazardly but that you are the task that you're doing it is in a disciplined and organized way because god is disciplined god is disciplined god is organized is not there's no chaos in the kingdom of god and so we see that this woman is is, is organized as well and uh number 7 she's compassionate and caring so if we look at proverbs 31 verse 20 it says she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hand to the needy so not only uh is this woman diligent hard working resourceful but she's compassionate and caring and this tells us that in our entrepreneurship journey we are not to be so ambitious and driven that we are you know stepping all over other people that we are not considerate that we stop caring because all we care about is you know how much money can i make or how far can i climb up this ladder in my career but that we show compassion to others around us to the people who are struggling around us to the people who may not have had, you know have as much as we do we are to show compassion and care because really this is the heart of god god is so compassionate towards us And when we read the scriptures the, the the gospels you know it says that Jesus was moved with compassion this is a characteristic of God that Jesus was moved with compassion and he healed the sick so a lot of the things that Jesus did was out of compassion for the human race for us you know sinners and people were sick it was out of the compassion of God and this woman has compassion and is caring that in our business dealings we are showing compassion we are showing care to whoever we are we are um working with and and we do the same to the to people in our lives the relationships that we have that we show compassion and care number 8 says that she takes care uh she takes calculated risks which is proverbs 31 verse 24 she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the mansions with sashes So this woman she's again you know the example perfect example of an entrepreneur where she is taking risk but not it's not it's calculated as in it's not just you know impulsive I'm going to do this and see if it makes me money but she's making the garments she's selling them uh to merchants and making profit and this is a lesson that we we all need if you're an entrepreneur is that you have to learn to know what the risk you're taking what it is and also be very calculated about it is and be sure that you have looked at all the pros and the cons before you make the decision and really this calls for for wisdom the wisdom of god because we can't always tell how things are going to turn out but god already knows and so if we are approaching anything we we do from the angle of you know i'm going to seek god first about this investment or about this decision if i make it then the risk that we're taking is really 
lesson because we have got involved in it and if we are waiting to listen and hear from him then we are making decisions that are actually good decisions and then that avoid the risk of something going wrong because we actually heard from the lord all right number nine she is elegant and classy and in proverbs 31 verse 22 it says that she makes coverings for her bed and she's clothed in fine linen and purple so this woman again is a good example of elegance she's someone not just on herself is the things that she wears you know the the, the fine linen and purple this wear um garments regarded if you look in the old testament were really for like clothing like for the priests which was you know high quality the best quality it also represented dignity which is really what elegance is is that you have dignity of you know you have class you're wearing things that are that are good quality and the way you dressed is appropriate and not only is she elegant like i said you know not only is her clothing elegant but it is also the coverings of her bed which talks about her household that you know her household was take well taken care of it was beautiful it was um it had you know the best coverings on the bed or the best quality pro- uh, the best quality the best quality furniture that she could afford right so and i've said this in the other video before and if you haven't seen it you can uh, look it up in our playlist about elegance is that it is just not how you look it is also your living environment your home that everything about you should reflect that elegance your home your clothing yourself everything about yourself all right number 10 she's resilient and financially savvy so she uh in proverbs 31 verse 25 says she's clothed with strength and dignity and she can laugh at the days to come so we see in here that this woman has that inner strength you know where she's she's resilient she's someone who is clothed in strength and dignity as in she she can stand the hard times and here she, she actually laughs at that the days to come because she's not worried because she's well prepared financially um she's been well prepared uh, her family is well prepared they have the needs met so she's someone who's worked hard who has um, been resilient uh, through the hard times and stood her ground and continue to work hard and now she can laugh at the days to come because she's been well prepared which you know says a lot about we as entrepreneurs need to be well prepared for the future and this is not being prepared in a fearful manner but in just really doing what god is telling you to prepare for the future and in the holy spirit this is what he does he does you know the word of god says that he tells us things to come and god will tell us the things we need to do to prepare for the future because we don't know what the future will be All right, so this is um, this is all that I had on the 10 lessons. Of course, there's so many lessons you can learn from here, but I, I really just wanted to share this because I know there are a lot of women out there who are entrepreneurs, and it is good to look through the Bible and to see what can we learn from other women who, who were entrepreneurs. And Proverbs 31 woman was definitely an entrepreneur and so we can learn a lot from her so i thank you for your time and this has been fun just going through these lessons i hope you have learned something just as much as i have and that you know you can apply some of these lessons to your to your own life and uh that they'll be helpful i look forward to seeing you next week and you know if you're new and you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to this channel 
and uh, put on the notification so you can be notified uh, every time that I post a video. God bless you.